Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to show success message using Sweet Alert. So, before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So, whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. In previous video, we have seen how to insert data from this admin panel and we displayed the message using session and uh, for the design purpose we just used the bootstrap let us go to that official website of sweet alert so sweet alerts so here this js.org is the official website of sweet alert we'll click on guides this is the official website so i'll give you guys this link in the description you can just click on this link and check this. We require the CDN, we'll be using the CDN. So this CDN, we can use it in two ways. You can directly copy paste this in your footer or else you can copy this HTTP and paste it here. You'll get this code, copy this code and create one file and paste it. Copy pasting this becomes a simple thing, but we'll do it in this method. So what we are going to do here is so sweet alert. How this is going to showing an alert. So when I click on this preview, I'm getting like this. So something a kind of message like this data inserted successfully and we are getting one more time. So this is a different thing here. We have a different thing here. We have with this thing, which is all the icon. So here this we have with the icon and this also is with the icon. You can see. So we'll use this. Okay. So we'll use this. And see how this works so for that first we have to include the CDN so I have just pasted it here the link what I'll do is I'll go to my assets JS right click and create one file as sweet alert dot JS so inside this file what you have to do is control a control C control V that's it so you have pasted your sweet alert code and this sweet alert file you have to include in your footer so where is your footer footer is inside includes folder so it includes footer so here i will include that sweet alert script okay so tell script and inside source give this directory give this directory so copy paste and change this to sweet alert js okay so now this will be set to check if this is set what we'll do is we'll copy one simple swell copy this code and here inside script paste it let's go reload our material dashboard here you can see we are getting this. so which means that sweet alert we have integrated that cdn correctly so this thing what it does is whenever I reload, I'll be getting that hello world. I don't require this to happen. What I am expecting is when I click on this insert data or when I click on the save data, I should get that data inserted successfully. I don't want to get for each reload or each button I click. I don't want to get the sweet alert. So let's see how to do that. We have to set the condition. So we'll be doing it inside footer itself because uh, here we are using script. Uh, obviously, we are including this footer inside this index. So yeah, first let us comment this line of code. Once after commenting this, let's go to footer and here leave this script here let us tell we have to set it using a php code so open close php here and tell if is set of dollar session dollar dollar session of status and we have another condition and dollar session of status not equal to null so if this condition is true we'll echo the session so dollar echo dollar session of status so once the message is set 
I mean once the message is uh, getting displayed we have to unset it after setting give an unset using unset function tell dollar session of status okay so now here this is the php uh, condition for setting the message according to the data which is getting inserted inside this if condition we have to set this script okay i told that we'll be using a different script so we'll take a different script with that icon this is a simple script so we'll just remove the script and take the script that has uh, icon button so this well let us copy and paste it here align it properly okay so now here we have to set the session message let us remove this cut this echo open close php here open close php and give that echo session of status this text is actually not required let us remove that and for the icon so for everything we are not going to give success so if that message is not getting inserted it has to show some error icon right so this also we will do it dynamically like let us cut this paste this copy paste and here instead of status let us make this to status code copy this status code and go to code.php here after the session status add session of this status code so here itself we'll be setting the code so the code for inserted would be success and copy the same thing for if that code is not working properly it is going to be so here we have different types of icon we have only four predefined ones which is warning error success and info so error is for this if that particular data is not getting inserted so let's paste it this is done and inside footer here we have that button let us change this to ok so everything is set let us go test our code now so here inside material dashboard let us add one data let us tell this as Leo. Add a phone number and Leo at gmail.com and click on save data. So, here when I insert data, let us see if the data is getting inserted. Go reload. So, here Leo, the data is inserted, but we didn't get that sweet alert message so go to so go to index.php here you can see in this here we have set the session message so let us comment this line of code here itself we are unsetting it so let us comment this i have just commented this line of code because this session message is getting unset here itself so that is why this is not working so now let us go insert another data and see if that if that sweet alert is coming insert data let's tell an give a 10 digit phone number and at gmail.com and click on save data so here you can see you are perfectly getting data insert successfully with that icon and ok button click on ok that's it so yeah that's it in this video that's it in this video I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. In next video, we'll see how to use Alertify.js. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.